Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. Today I am joined by Ash, and today we're going to be looking at Watcher of Realms. Uh, Ash, how you doing, man? Hades, I'm doing great, bro. Thanks for having me on, man. It's exciting. This is our first co uh, first non raid collab, man. Yeah, for sure. Look, I mean, for those who haven't already kind of like grasped this game, uh, myself and Ash have both been promoted to to show it today. But also, we're going to be going and launching our own channels because we have basically yeah. got to this position where. I don't know how you feel, but when I did my first promotion with Watcher of Realms, so my community has just been coming back time and time again saying, loving the game, really fresh feel, um, you know, are you still playing it? All those type of things. So, I mean, what's your kind of community reaction, Ash? That was the exact same thing, man. For me, it was just, uh, I was surprised. I wasn't looking for a new game to cover or play, honestly. Like, we only have so much time in the day. Yeah. But initially, Watcher of the Realms appealed to me because... I guess the similarities of Raid, like I could pick it up and understand it, but also the differentiators, like the actual gameplay is nothing like Raid. You know, it's more tower defense-y, but with that fantasy vibe. So it appealed yeah. to me. So I wasn't shocked by the same time like that, that my subscribers and my viewers liked it when we did a, a sponsored video. But I was like uh, shocked at how many people were looking for more content. And I was like, you know what? Yeah. Maybe this is the game. Maybe I start a new channel on the game. And we had like the same feeling. We were talking about it. And it's just like, yeah, this feels like it's the game. Yeah. Well, I've literally just dropped my free to play account because of this game. So I was like, how do I free up some time <laughs> yes. in my kind of like busy schedule? And, and it, this, this was the reason. I was like, you know what? I'm going to start a channel on, on Water of Realms. And basically, it's a, it's a channel where, yeah, we're still going to do guides. We're still going to kind of showcase off different heroes. But I'm going to have some fun playing a brand new game in a similar feel to Raid in terms of real quality visuals, fantasy vibe. But as you say, it's more of a tower defense game, which I love. I love a tower defense game. You know, I've played tower defense games really over the past 20 odd years, um, mainly on mobile, actually. But this feels like you know I'm playing it on PC here. Visually, it's awesome. Uh, I'll just show off a, a little bit of the kind of visuals of gameplay whilst we're talking here. But yeah, yeah. It, and you definitely need like strategy and I guess a, a brain in your head to be able to play this game. You know, they've got different types of units like you know, flying enemies, ground enemies. Um, you know, if you go into the, the kind of like question mark here, you can see the type of heroes or enemies you're going to face, you know, what sort of resistances they've got. So you end up starting to have to really kind of think your way through the different levels. No, absolutely. It's, it's, it's great because it does. You're right. It does feel like for a hero collector type genre game, hmm. there is a, an alarming amount of strategy involved when you get into the battle because you're like, it, it's not just the, you know, what each hero does and their matchup uh, depending on the enemy, but it's also the positioning is so important where you're putting them, which direction are you facing them, what tile are you using, who's supporting them, it's really what kind of team are you building, there's a lot of strategy that goes into it, which appealed to me as well and obviously our viewers, you know? Yeah. And for me as well. So I love kind of fantasy genre. I know we spoke on your channel. There's going to yeah. be another channel, by the way, on, on uh, sorry, another video on Ash's channel where we talk about you know, similar topics here. But I love fantasy generally. You know, if I'm reading any sort of books, it's in fantasy. And, uh, you know, when I'm playing games or, or, or what have you, I tend to look for this type of vibe as well. Yeah. And, you know, I love the fact that we're throwing down tanks. We've got healers in the game. We've got, you know, mages in the game. You have to think about the kind of makeup of your team there's a there's a lot of depth actually into into a tower defense game here for me yeah dude it was at first it was the graphics that appealed to me i was just like okay these graphics yeah. are like at, on par with raid which is uh not the norm for any of these games you know and then it's like oh wait the gameplay is totally different and even if you get sick of like campaign i mean for a game that's brand new there's like over 200 heroes or whatever right in the game yeah. there's a tide thing which basically is connected to like different talent and skills like a skill tree that you can choose to strategically up uh upgrade and then there's uh pvp there's all like a, a yeah. robust kind of live uh or not live but like arena system in the game so they have a lot considering it's brand new and like it's it, yeah. and i was kind of looking for a game that hasn't been around for years and years and years because i don't want to feel like i'm that far behind so it was really this this you know everything coming together and i'm like man plus all of you guys right like all of our viewers <laughs> were like play more watchers i'm like all right man yeah i'm gonna talk to hades about this to see, <laughs> see if we can do some collabs you know both here and on our new channels too you know yeah well it's quite interesting for me so my editor um 
Okay. He's playing watchers, right? So I said, oh, we're going to be doing some videos, get ready for some extra work. And he's like, when are you starting the channel? Like, I can't wait for it. He's been playing it for the last few months and um, on, like a, on like a beta sort of test server environment. And then he starts telling me you know, a bunch of the old, really, t like end game PvP players like Deeks and, uh, you know, and a bunch of the guys from, yeah. from the Discord. This, this is where they've gone. They've come to Watchers of Realm for that wow. kind of like end game competitive scene. So I'm yet to experience that in Watchers. All I've experienced so far is the kind of like you know, the cool vibe to the game. Some of the different game modes, like uh, I've, I've shown kind of like a, a basic campaign here, but you know, things like your um, guild boss, um, which we'll show here, it's just a kind of a fresh feel to, to the game because it's in this, this kind of like tower defense mode. Yeah. Do you have any, do you have like a favorite hero yet or you have not like... So I'm, I'm actually, for my first video that I'm going to do on my main, or on the new channel is going to be yeah. a bit of a summon session. Okay, but there's, all right. There's a couple. So I've been watching um, a bucket is, is yep. I, th I think that's how he pronounces his name, but I'm not sure. I think um, so. Yeah, yeah. So I've been watching him and he's pretty much got like almost everything maxed out. Like his account looks absolutely stacked. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I really like the idea of Abomination. And I know that's a, yeah. almost like a, a fusible character, fusible champion. I think they call it hero actually in this game, but yep. you know, it looks totally badass. Looks really cool. Um, a bit of a fighter type of yeah. uh, setup to him. I have him. No big deal, Hades. I oh, you have. got it? Did you fuse yeah, I did, him? I didn't, no, no, no. I just pulled him. I only right. have. Well, I, I have like a few legendaries, but he's one of them. I think he's probably my best hero on the account. So yeah, yeah. I'm a big. Well, fan. when I played in the um in my pro like promotional video back in the day, I got given a bunch of stuff. Right, I was I got a bit of a stacked account. And okay. I'm trying to think who my hero was. Yeah, this is the guy, Captain Reeve. Uh, so he was like okay. a defender magic dude that was just kind of like ripping up a load of stuff. So, I mean, visually, his animations, everything looks super cool. Um, in fact, we can play. This is something which, which they've added in this game, which I love. They've got like these little video uh, CGI type of like sequences on some of the heroes, yep. um, mainly for the legendaries, I think. But it's definitely got this kind of like... Um, how oh, was that, Captain Jack? What's the film? Um, oh, uh, Pirates like, of the Caribbean. Uh, Paris, yeah, 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 yeah. It's got that kind of like that feel for when they're they're kind of like in the 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 ghost mode or whatever, you know? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, I totally, I totally get that, and I, it, it's really cool. Like, I feel like every time you dig into a character or whatever, you like discover something new. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and as I said earlier, I really like the idea of the kind of strategy side because. Even yeah. in the PvP modes, they've got almost like limitations to certain sections of PvP, haven't they? So in terms of the arena, it's like actually for this fight, you're only allowed to use a certain type of class or you know yeah. or, or what have you. Which again, it means you need to build out a bit of a roster. You need to kind of think your way through the fights rather than just put like the same four or five heroes into every mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. I totally love that as well, and it's just, and it, and it kind of brings you along through the tutorial. Like it's not incredibly difficult like you play i feel like for a few hours you start to immediately grasp kind of the basics uh my my favorite by the way hero is iona keep your eye out hades iona, eye out. do you know what um what faction she, she, uh she's a cultist mage sister of the night does that any of that ring a bell <laughs> I mean, I mean, cultists. Yeah, I, I don't okay. know. Yet. I don't know. <laughs> We're both new. In case you guys, yeah, didn't yeah, know, we right? are. We are at the uh, moment. We are very new to this. Yeah, yeah. but like, it's, it, 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 that's the cool thing, though, is like when you go to the the hero screen, you'll see that like a lot of the upgrading process, like the gear, the skills, promotions. You know, it's very similar to raid. So like, yeah, it's easy to understand. Okay, awakening. Oh, promotion. Okay, skills. Oh, I can upgrade skills. Like you, you kind of understand everything. You know. Yeah. And I've got to say, like, I'm, I'm going through some of the heroes here. The visuals are like top notch. Like they yep. really, they really, really like start to to push the genre. And that's what's cool because I don't feel like we've really had that yet. You know, it's been, no. I've been playing Raid for four years. I'm not really Raid, come, right? yeah, I've not really come up again against the game. And I've done a lot of different promotions and stuff. Like this is the first one for me that absolutely pushes Raid in terms of visuals character design you know thought behind the kind of design versus what they are in you know in terms of their role and stuff um yeah it's super cool actually and and i like yeah. the fact that they've also got these kind of like lords 
of each of the different factions that have got their own ability as well. And that kind of like ranks up depending on, you know, if you've got a rare one, well, that unlocks a certain level of it. Yeah. But then it actually gets better as you get like epic and legendary. I mean, in your accounts, you've been playing a little bit longer than I have. Are you finding that, you know, epics are doing the do, doing the job, or pretty much are you yeah. kind of like pushing straight into legendaries? Yeah, I don't know if I got bad luck on my legendaries, but like a, a few of them are really <laughs> strong. But uh, I use mainly epics uh, on like my most used, my most, my heavy, heaviest damage champions, even with, uh, you know, like uh, Abomination on my account and stuff like that. I yeah. still am getting like way more like damn a GPS and stuff from Iona. Obviously, like the different roles for different champions, but uh, yeah, I'm using quite a few epics. I'm using Baron, the Headless Sentinel. He's from he's a nightmare. Okay. Uh, very cool dude. He's almost as good. I mean, uh, granted, again, I have like I've been playing for a couple months here, guys, but yeah. he's almost as good in my eyes uh, compared to like an Abomination or. Right regular some of like the tanks that i use azor some of the legendary tanks that i use a lot so i really like baron uh i use like i said a ton of iona uh another one that i really enjoy is idril she's a a, a piercer uh very very cool so yeah there's a lot of different like roles and i feel like oh you know who i should mention too he is uh where the heck is this dude uh, i should probably just <laughs> where the heck is he Oh, a guy that I use, Voltus. He's a, a rare. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, 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 like he can do some serious damage as well, you know? So I don't know if he's like the equivalent of like a Kale or something like that, but like he could definitely hard carry in the early game. Sure. Yeah. Well, I, I, um, I can't wait to start to sort of dig yeah. into some of the other different characters and, yeah. you know, start to talk, build out teams, start to think yeah. about, um, you know, PvP in this game as well. But yeah, I mean, I just feel like. For a fresh game on the scene, it offers a lot. And yeah, you know, I will say there'll be a download link down below. It is a sponsored video, of course, but also we're gonna put a new channel links down below as well. So make sure you come and you know, sub to my channel, sub to uh, Ash's new channel as well, because this is not gonna be, you know, like a one or two week thing. Yeah. I'm gonna be doing content on this, you know, for the foreseeable. Yeah, and there'll also be sections in my Discord um, around this game as well. So anyone who's already playing it come and join us you know that's that's one of the things which has really been great about my discord over the the years a lot of like-minded people that enjoy this type of game come together and they're offering like ideas you know around around team building and that type of stuff so i'd love for you guys to come and get involved but so far really loving watcher of realms and as i say um yeah can't wait to see where this game goes over the next you know year or two um yeah any final let's, let's... words from you ash no we need a guild so let us know oh, yeah, if you yeah. guys have any ideas or if we should make one or something like that uh but yeah man I, i'm in the same boat i'm excited to cover this and hopefully we can collab a lot more on the other channel and you know when we know a little bit more about the game other than being you know a couple months in or whatever players so yeah i yeah, really sure. enjoy it and i uh, can't wait to cover it in the in the long term awesome well guys don't forget download watcher of realms come and get involved i've been hell hades with ash we'll see you later